Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. And I'm not one who usually likes videos that the camera moves around. This is one time that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to you today about the TYT TH9800. That's what you're looking at right there. And you see the big sign on top of it that says original. These radios have been around for quite a few years. But the new radios that they're putting out right now are different. There's not a whole lot on the radio to tell you which one's which. This is the TH9800. It happens to be the D model, which is the same as the very original TH9800. This is the new one for 2025. Now, it does just say TH9800. Yes, they're very similar physically, and a lot of their features are very similar. There's enough in them that's different that it's a significant change. As we say to you, a radio must think it's talking to one of its own when it comes to the programmer. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen if you try to address a new radio that your friend has bought or if you buy new radios for your fleet today. And I'm going to show you what you're going to get into. It's very easy to overcome, but it could be really frustrating. Go to the programmer. This is the TH9800 programmer. This is the original. But let's look, receive, transmit, offset, offset direction, offset reverse, operating mode, bandwidth, name, show name. So far, so good. Everything matches tone mode. CTCSS. Hmm. I see one here and I see two here. That's significant. This is the new radio at the bottom. As we always say, this takes it out of the black box so you can get a better look at it. DCS once here. DCS twice here. DCS polarity. User CTCSS is not in the new one. Optional signaling. TX power. Both of them with the same high, mid-low, mid-high, and high. Optional code, push to talk ID, squelch mode. And remember, if tone mode is set to tone squelch, squelch mode needs to be set to CTCSS, DCS, or the squelch side of it will not work, which means the signal will not be blocked coming back to you. This one has emphasis. This is the old radio. This one has, we both have busy channel lockout. Let's scoot over here a little bit. Clock shift, compander, scrambler, talk around, skip, and step. So very similar, but some very, very distinct differences. The other thing, now, this is not a trick to the point Let's see who we're looking at. We're looking at the new radio. I have cables plugged into both of them, and I'll show you. This one is connected to the new radio, and I'm going to plug it into my computer. The other one is not plugged in, and I have my original program, and I'm going to do communications and get data from radio, and yes, it will overwrite that file. And I plugged in the cable, the radio is on, and I click OK. And the original program is reading the new radio. And you think, great, I'm in like Flynn. We can program this up. But just wait. And I told you I'm in the new radio and the old program. That's what's in the radio. Communication send data to radio. Hmm. Enter a valid receive frequency. What does it want? Channel L30. 
oh, it's just not happy at all. And this is how you know you have a mismatch between the program and the radio. Let's see now how things go when I read from the original radio into the original program. You can do it from right here on the VFO tab, communications and get data from radio. Yes, it will overwrite and OK. And now I have VFO values as I expect. I don't have memories. This radio happens not to be programmed. But you can see the difference, how everything just fell into place. And no strange 777s like I had a minute ago. Let's go to the new program. And again, this is not a trick. I'll go back over to the new radio. This is the old cable. This is the new cable. I'm just changing which one is plugged into the computer. And communications and get data from radio. Yes and A. Everything fills in. And those VFOs are happy. Now the file is ready to be used with the new radio. You're wondering, how do I get the second program? You go to RT Systems. You go to Downloads. You go to Programmer Download. You enter your email address you originally used when you installed the TH9800 programmer. You may have bought it several years ago, as long as it's version 5. Enter your email address, click Forgot My Serial Numbers. We'll send those serial numbers right out to you. Come back to this same page, email address, and that serial number. Be careful if you use copy and paste from the email, which is a wonderful idea. But be careful you don't pick up the identifier for the radio. That's not a part of the serial number. Download. When that download finishes, install again. You will see this screen. And make sure you check one, the other, or both. And you'll have both programs on your computer. This will get you going with the old radio and the new radio. And you'll be up and ready to go with that new radio in no time. So this is Karen, and remember, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.